Boolean in the parameter, why it is wrong, and how to solve it. And in today's video, I will explain more about this. Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who wants to become a better software engineer, understanding better the code design, software, architecture, software perspective. So if you want to become even better senior staff in architect, subscribe in my channel. Okay, okay, let's explain why put boolean in parameter is not okay especially in the code design perspective. So first, let's imagine a scenario where I do have a person, this person has a name, and then a method that is to speak. So my first step, of course, is to put it in presentation mode to make it easier for everybody to see. Then I will create my person class with the name of course with the constructor and then I have my string method speak hello uh, my name is name okay I will create my test here so I come here Create a test. No, you. Let's create you here. So let's create a scenario. Public voice should speak. On that case, I will come here, and then I will create the the person with the name John, and in that scenario. Hello, my name is John, should be equals to the person speak. So let's run the test and for sure it is okay. But right now, let's create a scenario where each person is capable to speak two different languages. English by default and Portuguese as second option. So what can I do? I can put the boolean here, boolean, English, and then put the condition. So if English, it you proceed this way, right? So English, or let's assume, hola. Let's assume in Portuguese, so la me chamo name. So return to my test. Where can I see? I only see true. And of course, the ID is help me. But imagine a scenario that I'm doing a pull request review, a PR review, a review in the code. And the first question is, what does it mean true? Because it's not clear. It's not close to the business. It, it is not ambiguous language. And of course, when we talk about Boolean, we are talking about two options. And one thing that you can do to solve this issue is instead of use Boolean, use a more nameful method name. So in that case, what can I do is instead of I have a speak with Boolean parameter, I will have two methods. One is speak in English and a second one is speak in Portuguese. So I will come here. I will remove this method here. So what can I do? Speak in English. Then remove, 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 and then public string speak Portuguese. 
and then I have two methods. And right now, in the code perspective, it's more clear what I'm doing because it's not about true or false. It's about the meaningful name about the action that this person is capable to. Of course, in the class, when you do have more complex thing, you can you can hide this implementation, but the public method should be more expressful as possible, more readable as possible. And that is all for today. So I will return here. So I will run. Of course, I need to rename to speak in English. I can create a second one to speak Portuguese, but that is the idea for today. So avoid Boolean as parameter and create more meaningful methods name. That's all for today. Thank you. Hope you enjoy and please put your feedback, thoughts and comments about this approach. Are you going to do that? Are you using that or do you still preferring the Boolean parameter? Bye.